Hello, my name is Andrew Peel, and welcome to the Essential Training Series for Extending the Home Builder Library. This is a series of training videos that explain how to create assets that automatically load into the Home Builder interfaces. This allows you to select assets from simple drop-down menus and have them automatically placed in the scene in not only the right location, but correctly sized, and they retain the ability to allow you to make adjustments to the design at any time. While the Home Builder Library is intended to be easy to use to create designs, creating parametric assets requires an intermediate skill level. But this training series will break down all of the concepts so anyone can start to learn how to create their own library. But it's recommended that you at least have a basic understanding of how Blender works. This training series is broken up into five videos. There are written articles that summarize each video. Links to the articles will be in the description of this video. The first video in this series is very important. It gives you an introduction to what assemblies are and how they work. It covers the structure of an assembly, how to create one from scratch, understanding prompts, material pointers, hook modifiers, and drivers. I break down all of these concepts while allowing you to create a very basic assembly. The next four videos are tutorials that walk you through how to save different types of assets to the Home Builder Library. It starts very simple and breaks down how to save objects. This includes faucets, cabinet poles, and entry door poles. If you're familiar with Blender, this will be very easy for you. As long as you know how to model geometry or find 3D models online, it'll be simple to save these types of assets to your library and access them through the library interfaces. Next, I show you how to create and save materials to the Home Builder Library to be used in the Material Pointers interface. Any material that can be used in Blender can be saved to the Home Builder Library. This uses Blender's existing node system to create shaders. There are a lot of tutorials already on this subject, so I mainly focus on the basics of material creation and how to save them to be used in Home Builder. Next, we get into assemblies, starting out with static assemblies. These are assemblies that don't change in size, but are used to store multiple objects. So we'll focus on how to create things like ranges, refrigerators, dishwashers, range hoods. And while it's possible to make these parametric and allow them to change size, it's important to know that you may want to limit the ability for certain assets to change size. So understanding how to create static assemblies is very important. And finally, we learn how to create fully parametric assemblies. This includes things like cabinet door panels, window inserts, window frames, entry doors, these types of assets. Being able to create something as simple as a door panel, then apply it to an entire kitchen and still be able to adjust the design as needed is a very powerful feature. And this is just the essential training guide. I have a lot more high quality training planned for the future, but this will be a good starting point to show you how to extend the Home Builder Library. Thank you for taking the time to watch this, and I'll see you in the next one.